Hello everyone. This is a short tutorial on Next Timeline module. Within the Content tab, you have the option to select New Item. In the Item Settings, we have Timeline Elements toggle. Here you can add the title and content for the Timeline item. As soon as we are done putting the relevant text for title and content text, we then move on to selecting an image from the gallery. Once we're done with that, we can move on to selecting an icon. Below the icon, you can see there is a field for identifier. You can add that for each item for the timeline design. And then we move on to enabling or disabling the button. We want the button to stay so we have enabled it. And then let's move on to the design tab. Within the timeline toggle, you can add timeline background, either fill or gradient. Here we are showing you what fill looks like and how you can adjust the transparency. We are leaving it at white and then we are adding some box shadow. You can also adjust the box shadow like so. Now let's see how it looks with the gradient background. Here we are adding some round corners. You can do all of that within the timeline module. Now let's head on to title and description. They both have all the necessary tools you need for typography. Let's move on to the items image toggle within the design tab. Here you can adjust the image, align your image with the image alignment, add rounded corners, there's border styles as well, but we're not going to use that. Then the button toggle. Here you can add the background color for the button, align your button. You also have the option to use gradient for the background, for the button. Here we are demonstrating. We're adding gradient direction as well. Now let's move on to the icon toggle. Here you can adjust the icon size, position your icon, like so. Add icon background color, either fill or gradient. Depending on the background color, change the icon color as well. We're using white. And then the identifier. For the identifier as well, you have all the typography tools needed, like in the title and description. Here we have changed the font and now we're adding some text size. Now as for the spacing toggle, here you can add padding margin for title, description, image, button, and icon. Going back to the Content tab and to the Timeline Elements toggle, we are now going to add the text for the identifier. We can now go back and add more items. Add relevant images for the separate items you create.
Notice we are also changing the text for the identifier as we move on to adding more items. It is that simple to use Next Timeline module. You can find the demo designs for Next Timeline module on our website. There's link in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe to our channel DVNext. Hit the bell icon for more videos like this one. Bye!